Are you interested in learning about cloud computing? Are you worried about getting behind in your career? Are you fascinated and intrigued by concepts like AI, blockchain technology, machine learning, and wondering what the impact will be on your future? Well, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm going to tell you what I believe um, or how I would go about becoming a cloud engineer in first to do this all over again in 2024. Well, background, I am a software engineer. Um, I work, currently work as a cloud engineer, and I also have experience in the finance, and more specifically the blockchain space as well. But today, I want to talk about what I think or how I would go about becoming a cloud engineer on AWS, more specifically, if I could do it all over again. So let me just start by saying that there are different cloud platforms out there. There's GCP, which is for Google's platform. There is um, AWS, obviously. There's Microsoft Azure. And of course, Oracle has its own cloud. And interestingly enough, Alibaba has its own cloud. AWS has a larger market share. So let me just talk about what I think or the approach to becoming a cloud engineer in 2024. Now, the first thing to ask is what kind of cloud engineer do you want to be? Do you want to be a solutions architect? Solution architects have a high level overview of pretty much most or all of the uh, services on AWS. There are a whole plethora bucket of services in AWS, but just have an idea, have a high level understanding of networking, of VPCs, which is your virtual uh, private cloud. They have understandings of how to define route tables, how to manage load balances, EC2 instances, RDS, which is more of your relational database, how to set up policies, user management, security, using IAM. So that's really, if that's the kind of engineer you want to be, you can decide to be a solutions architect or to focus on DevOps. So DevOps really is more of continuous integration and continuous delivery, talking about how you keep your platforms up and running, how you're pushing new code, or how you make your infrastructure as code. So the services around that on AWS live around things like code pipeline, code build, code deploy, and a whole bunch of other services on AWS. Now, another way to be a cloud engineer is to focus on systems administration. That really borrows some of the concepts of DevOps and some of the concepts of what I'll talk about next about being a developer. But being a sysad really talks about, at a very, very high level, understanding your instances, how to manage space, how to uh, do more systems administration work, like how you do it on on-prem environment, only in this, in this case, as it relates to cloud environment, more specifically, AWS. Last but not least, another way to become an AWS or a cloud engineer is to focus on being a, dev or a developer, a software engineer, which means which will kind of um, live around writing applications that are cloud native or using tools in AWS, which leave, lead more on the serverless platform. Serverless just means that you only pay for what you use, as opposed to sp spinning up a virtual machine, like an EC2 instance. You can use tools like AWS Lambda, you can use Fargate if you're doing cloud orchestration, or you can also build APIs using API Gateway. So I think the first approach is to learn or to decide what kind of AWS engineer you want to be, or cloud engineer you want to be. So I think the first thing to do, or what I would do differently is, which is all right, I currently do hold a certification, but I won't say you should necessarily have to do a certification, but there's a cross I'm gonna put a, a link to below. Um, it's, it's on Udemy. It just explains at a high level the different AWS certifications, but even if you don't do the certification, I'll highly recommend that you learn about becoming an, the topics around being an AWS cloud practitioner. So a cloud practitioner at a very high level goes through all the services in AWS. And then it, it, in experiencing those services, you can now decide exactly what route do you want to go. Do you want to go solutions architect? Do you want to go DevOps? Do you want to go sysadmin? Or do you want to go more of being a developer? So um, that brings me to my first point. So I'm going to highlight four things to becoming skilled at AWS whichever route you want to go. Whether it's DevOps, as I mentioned, CISAD, uh, being a developer or solutions architect. The first is, well, it, it borrows from what I just mentioned, is doing an actual course. So there's so many courses out there, there are thousands on Udemy, there are thousands of free courses. There's too many platforms you can go on. But what I personally would recommend is a course um, on Udemy by, and I don't get paid for saying this, but it's what I did, and I found a lot of value in that course. It's by Backspace Academy. It goes through all four AWS certifications. And you can finish, complete the course, or pick the certification you want, or even if you don't want to become AWS certified in LB certifications, you learn a lot by going through that course. Now, it's a bit pricey, so there are other tools out there which I'll put links 
too below, but my recommendation would be to do some kind of course. The second thing I'll mention is documentation. More than documentation, well, around documentation, there's something called the AWS Well-Architected Framework. And if you read through that documentation, it's a lot. I haven't gone through it, but the, uh, the goal of this video is to say what I'll do differently if I want to become a, a more prolific at AWS and is to go through that course. It might take a while to go through every single page, but one of my mentors mentioned this as a very reliable tool and I've been going through it myself and I think it's fascinating. It also helps you to have a good understanding, not just of uh, around the AWS platform as well, but best practices in the cloud space. That's the second thing. The third thing is um, a couple of videos um, which on YouTube. So AWS has a channel or has a series that's called This Is My Architecture. It's coming. <laughs> Why I like this is my architecture is that you get to see real world use cases for um, the AWS services. You see uh, different companies, either their solutions architects or their chief engineers, walk through exactly how they're using AWS on their workloads, how they're using AWS um, in their own uh, industries, uh, around their own uh, practices or around their own business use cases, which is really fascinating. So you get to interact with all the different um, platforms or different services on AWS and see how it works in real life, which is a great resource. So I think AWS, I believe, I strongly recommend watching a couple of those videos, as many as you possibly can. Watch maybe watch, watch just watch one every week uh, for a whole year. I mean, you'll have gone through 50 videos and that will, you will learn a lot by watching that. So this is my architecture videos on, on YouTube is what I also I'll highly recommend um, as well. And last but not least, I'll say build something. Build something around AWS. You can have a free uh, free tier platform um, on AWS. You can just create a free an account and um, just pay. F use. You can go through some of these courses. You can spin up an EC2 instance. Please don't leave it running because you will get billed for that. But build something, build something. Take a small static website, drop it in S3, uh, get it by um, acquire or domain, and you get to use all the services like um, Route 53 for DNS or CloudFront, and just see how all that works. Get a, a, an SSL certificate or whatever it is. Uh, just build something, build something through all the videos, through all the interactions, build something. So uh, those are the things I recommend. I would say, Go through the AWS Cloud Practitioner course to get a high level of what kind of engineer you want to be. Next, do some kind of course on AWS. Second is to read through the documentation of all the AWS well-architected framework. Uh, watch all the videos in AWS system architecture and go build. So, so to next time, that's all I have. As I always like to say, my wish for you is that you learn how to code because coding um, is changing and will change the world. And those who get involved in this space, in this technology space, will greatly impact the future. And if that's you, let's go change the world.